how to achieve results with your diet. There are few things more frustrating than dieting without achieving results. You can reach your goal weight if you follow a few key steps. You will need healthy snacks, sleep, an exercise routine, self-control, determination, and willpower. Step one, stock up on healthy snacks to avoid a late night run for fast food. If you already have food in the house, you are more likely to use what's on hand. To cut out snacking that can sabotage your diet, set a time after which you are no longer allowed to eat, say, after 6 p.m. Step two, get exercise, 60 minutes a day if you can. The more muscle you build, the higher your metabolism will be. Get your strength training in in addition to cardiovascular work. Do little things. Walk around while you talk on the phone or take the stairs instead of the elevator to burn extra calories. Step three, limit yourself in terms of choices at meals. If you have a whole buffet in front of you, you are more likely to overeat. Don't ask other people to fetch food for you. Get up and get it yourself. You might find out that you don't want it badly enough to actually go get it. Step four, eat slowly at every meal. It takes 20 minutes for your brain to register that your stomach is full. Eat enough that you will be satisfied until you're able to eat again. Depriving yourself will never get you diet success, but making a goal and believing that you can get there will. Did you know? Jean Nidich founded the weight loss program Weight Watchers out of her home in the 1960s. How to avoid allowing a diet to turn into an eating disorder. Normal dieting and exercise can spin out of control and turn into something more serious if you're not careful. Watch for the signs to prevent food-related and eating disorders. You will need awareness of common signs and symptoms. Step one, watch for signs of excessive weight loss. If someone becomes frail or looks emaciated, it may signal that they suffer from anorexia. Step two, look for signs that someone is obsessed with eating, food, and weight control. Red flags include weighing themselves repeatedly, weighing food before every bite, avoiding certain foods, obsessively counting calories, overeating when distressed, or strict dieting after binge eating. Step three, be aware that excessive exercise may be a sign of an eating disorder. Signs include feeling the need to burn off calories after every meal or skipping social events to work out. Step four, pay attention to someone who seems depressed or withdraws from social activities, especially family meals or celebrations that involve food. While eating disorders are most common in girls, boys may also suffer from body image concerns and problems. Step five, monitor regular purchases of laxatives, diuretics, or enemas. Be wary if someone constantly makes excuses to go to the bathroom directly following meals. These are signals that the person has an eating disorder. Step six, discover any physical signs of an eating disorder. Chipmunk cheeks occur when salivary glands permanently expand from excessive vomiting. Hair loss, fingernail breakage, feeling cold all the time, or loss of periods may be signs the body has gone into starvation mode. Loss of dental enamel or dental cavities may also signal bulimia. Step seven, observe signs that someone is intensely unhappy with their body shape, size, or weight. Recognizing this serious problem early means that you can take steps to break the pattern of unhealthy eating. Did you know? In 2005, the National Eating Disorder Association estimated that five to 10 million women and one million men in the United States suffer from an eating disorder. How to avoid common bodybuilding diet mistakes. If you're looking to add some muscle to that skinny frame, this guide will help you skip some of the eating errors your fellow gym rats have undoubtedly made. You will need a nutrition almanac, a calculator, a measuring tape, consistency, and patience. Step one, track every gram of fat, protein, carbohydrate, and calorie you consume. Keep a nutrition almanac and a calculator in the kitchen to help you stay on track. Stay away from the scale as a measuring device for your progress and instead use your eyes, a mirror, and a measuring tape. Step two, remain consistent. A haphazard approach to any diet, whether to gain muscle or lose fat, kills any chance of success or quickly discourages any motivation. Step three, avoid processed sugars and saturated fats and get the calories you need from clean foods like chicken, fish, and turkey. Don't forget the fruits and vegetables. Shoot for one and a half grams of protein per pound of body weight. Step four, calculate your basal metabolic rate using your height, 
weight, and age. Multiply that number by 1.9 to determine how many calories you should eat per day. Eat enough to give your body the building blocks it needs for repair, but don't overeat or you risk converting calories to fat rather than muscle. Step 5. Opt for good fats found in fish, nuts, seeds, and olive oil as these help maintain hormone levels. A completely fat-free diet can actually inhibit muscle growth. Step 6. Use supplements like creatine and whey protein powder wisely. They can't take the place of hard work and dedication, but they can help boost performance in the gym and facilitate muscle repair and recovery. Step 7. Be patient with your diet and avoid drastic changes. Ease into things over a few weeks, adding more calories and supplements until you start seeing results. Did you know? Whey protein is a byproduct of the cheese making process and was routinely discarded until scientists realized its high protein, low fat properties made it a perfect supplement for weightlifters. How to beat food cravings. Step away from the chocolate bar. Here's how to gain control over foods that are constantly beckoning you. You will need distractions, menthol cough drops or breath strips, and self-control. Step 1. Spread your calories throughout the day. You're less likely to have food cravings if you never allow yourself to get hungry. Step 2. Find something to distract you from the temptation for at least 15 minutes. Most cravings peter out by then. Look something up on the computer or flip through a magazine. Studies indicate that visual distractions are effective at taking the mind off food. Step 3. Suck on a menthol cough drop or dissolve a breath strip on your tongue. Overpowering your sense of taste and smell can kill a craving. Step 4. State your intention to resist the food, repeating it at least three times. Research shows that a spoken declaration increases your willpower. Step 5. Enjoy small portions of your favorite foods on a regular basis. Eliminating them entirely will just make you crave them more. Step 6. On the occasions you give in to a craving, try to stop after a few nibbles. The satisfaction of tasting the food decreases dramatically after the first few bites. Did you know? Children with a gene variant present in 63% of people preferred sugary and fatty foods more than did kids who didn't have the variant. How to choose the diet that's right for you. Because no two people are exactly alike, each person needs a custom-tailored diet. You will need information from weight loss facilities, optional, referrals from friends. Never change your diet without first consulting your physician. Step one, locate and visit weight loss facilities. Many offer one-stop shopping coaching, personal training, dietary counseling, and a health club. Step two, consider food choices and accommodations for any special dietary needs you have. Resist temptation to buy junk food. Keep your pantry stocked with healthy essentials. Step three, examine the exercise design. Is it built into the program? If not, are you disciplined enough to be on your own? Ask friends, neighbors, and coworkers to recommend a facility. Step four, choose a program that's overseen by medical staff or certified nutritionists. Meet with them and discuss your goals. Step five, check for hidden costs and make sure the program is right for your budget. Choose a facility that is close to your home or work so you'll be motivated to stick with it. Did you know? According to a global report, one third of the most common cancers in the United States could be prevented through diet and exercise. How to follow diet do's and don'ts. Review some of the basic do's and don'ts of a good diet to find your best balance. You will need breakfast, protein, fat, small portions, veggies, light, and water. Step one, never skip breakfast. Keep breakfast simple, quick, and healthy by sticking with high fiber options. Don't load up on fast foods, snacks, or sugar. Keep trail mix or dried fruit handy if you're pressed for time and have to eat on the run. Step two, realize that protein keeps you feeling full longer than carbs do. Protein also absorbs water and creates a further sense of fullness, which helps you avoid overeating. Step three, eat fatty fish, nuts, and other healthy fats. Flaxseed oil activates leptin, an appetite-suppressing hormone. Step four, get good rest. When you don't, your body produces more ghrelin, a hormone that stirs hunger, rather than generating the leptin needed to feel full. 
Step 5. Remove chips and treats from big bags, dividing them into smaller storage bags to control the impulse to finish everything at once. Researchers have found that people who ate from large bowls consumed 56% more food than those with smaller bowls. Step 6. Eat vegetables that are low in calories and packed with fiber to fill up. Steer clear of peas, corn, acorn and butternut squash, or potatoes, which are too starchy. Make it a rule to avoid buffets. They make portion control and limiting yourself more difficult. Step 7. Eat in lighted rooms where you're more self-conscious of others watching. You'll also be able to see your food, which makes you more aware of how much you're eating. Step 8. Remind yourself that if you feel thirsty, you're already dehydrated. Drink water on a regular basis, whether thirsty or not, to avoid feeling empty. Step 9. Don't snack after dinner. When you eat late at night, the body stores fat, and that digestion process interferes with sleep. Good luck with your diet. Did you know? There are about 3,500 calories, or stored energy, per pound of fat. On a diet? Quick tips. Eat with your non-dominant hand. It will slow you down, which may help you eat less. Clever.